Government Secretary Eduardo M. Año, Department of the Interior and Local Government, oh. and Chairperson, National Police Commission, no. has arrived. This being welcome by Police Brigadier General Ricardo Layuk Jr., Director of the Engineering Service for the Fire Honors. Again, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Secretary Eduardo M. Año, the party of the Interior and Local Government, and Chairperson, National Police Commission. Please, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and welcome to the awarding of PMP personnel with significant accomplishments, coinciding with flag raising ceremony with Secretary Eduardo M. Año, Department of the Interior and Local Government, here at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Cam Brigadier General Rafael Crami, Quezon City. And this ceremony is broadcast live by the official Facebook page of the Philippine National Police. The ceremony begins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the entrance of troops. Pasalo! Ladies and gentlemen, approaching the ceremonial area are the participating troops in today's activity, the men and women of the National Administrative Support and National Operational Support Units of the National Headquarters Philippine National Police. Leading the troops is Police Colonel Nedi Alarcio of ITMS. This is staff, Police Lieutenant Colonel Bernas of DPCR, Police Lieutenant Colonel Kalulot of ITMS, Police Lieutenant Colonel De La Peña of ITMS and Police Lieutenant Colonel Nando Jr. of the Highway Patrol Group. You know, so. Ta 
Kalupad! To! Harap sa kaluwa! Harap! Magsitayo po tayong lahat para sa pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Tanghal! Ta! Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Mga pinuno, pungay kamay, na! Ayang magiliw, kaya sa sinangalan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang, kuya ka ng magiging, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil, sa gagat at tutok sa simoy at sa langit ng pagraw, ay hinagamot lang awin sa pagkaya minamahal. Tawad mo'y tatumpay na nagtinitin Pagpituwin na taro niya kay ng pamayin at ititin Luha na taro niya We would like to request Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, Director of the PMP Chaplain Service, to deliver the invocation. With humility and gratitude in our hearts, let us bow our heads and be aware of God's loving presence. Let us pray. Almighty God, our hearts are filled with gratitude for all the blessings you poured upon our lives as we proclaim your glory for all eternity. Now, we ask for your benediction as we gather for our flag-raising ceremony and awarding of PNP personnel with significant accomplishments. We pray that you fill each one of us with your divine providence today and every day as we thank you for setting us at tasks that demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments that satisfy the people we ought to serve. And so, we commend to your most compassionate heart all our awardees for their outstanding display of courage and commitment to serve and protect. 
full of trust and complete faith in your divine salvation, we humbly ask that you continue to encompass with your ever saving grace the PNP organization headed by our beloved OIC PNP Police Lieutenant General Vicente D. Danao Jr. and his command group. Finally, we entreat you, Lord God, to bestow your special blessings upon our beloved DILG Secretary, Eduardo M. Anu. May all his endeavors in the service to your people remain to inspire us to uphold the integrity and honor of the PNP institution. Let his public service legacy merit your perpetual blessings upon him and to his family and loved ones now and always. Grant all that we ask and fervently pray in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. The Panunumpan ng Katapatan sa Watawat ng Filipinas and Police Officers Pledge will be led by Police Colonel Brian Demont of the Directorate for Research and Development. Mangyaring pakitaas po ang kanang kamay. Taas ka ng kamay! Na! Mga pinuno, taas ka, taas ka ng kamay. Na! Sabay-sabay nating bigkasin ang panunumpa ng katapatan sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisag na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayanang makajos, makatao, makakalikasan at makabansa. Mga pinuno, baba ka ng kamay na... Baba! Na! Let us recite in unison the police officer's pledge. I will love and serve God, my country and people. I will uphold the Constitution and obey legal orders of the duly constituted authorities. I will oblige myself to maintain a high standard of morality and professionalism. I will respect the customs and traditions of the police service, and I will live a decent and virtuous life to serve as an example to others. Please remain standing, and we would like to request Secretary Eduardo M. Año to proceed in front for the presentation of troops and honors. Pinuno, baba kamay. Na. Baba! Ta! Pinuno, handa na po ang talupad upang libutin. And now, Secretary Eduardo M. Año will troop the line and will be assisted by Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., OIC, PNP, together with the Troop Commander, Police Colonel Nevi Alarcio of ITMS. And ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
Shipping the line, ladies and gentlemen, is Secretary Eduardo M. Año of the Department of the Interior and Local Government and Chairperson, National Police Commission. He was born in San Mateo, Rizal, Philippines on October 26, 1961. And at an early age, he has manifested his academic prowess when he graduated elementary as valedictorian. Straight from high school, he entered the Philippine Military Academy and became a member of the PMA Matikas class of 1983 and graduated as cum laude. During his active military career, he consistently ranked number one in all his military courses, both local and foreign. His virtuous reputation, exceptional professionalism, and unquestionable integrity, he was entrusted to hold vital military positions and was instrumental in the neutralization of countless terrorist and communist high-value targets, making him a legend in the Philippine intelligence community. Being a devout Catholic, he fervently advocated the value of servant leadership and always gave premium to the importance of teamwork. He has been a recipient of numerous awards, medals, and decorations, both locally and abroad. Following Sir, his honorable ready. exit Done. as the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, he rose to the challenge of sailing the seas of interior and local governance, where he effected a no-nonsense internal cleansing drive that purged the Philippine National Police, Bureau of Fire Protection, and Bureau of Jail Management and Penology of misfits and scalawags. He staunchly advocated for participative inclusive, accountable, and good governance among the government, civil society organizations, and the Philippine citizenry. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Secretary of the Interior and Local Government, Secretary Eduardo Manahan Año. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Eduardo M. Año, Department of the Interior and Local Government, and Chairperson, National Police Commission. Please be seated. We will proceed to the awarding of PMP personnel with significant accomplishments. May we request the awardees to rise and move forward for the presentation of awards. To present the award is Secretary Eduardo M. Año, Department of the Interior and Local Government, to be assisted by Assistant Secretary Manuel Felix, Assistant Secretary for Peace and Order in IJES, the PNP Command Group, Commander Area Police Commander for Northern Luzon, and IGES. May we request the presenters to rise. For his eminently meritorious and invaluable service rendered as a commander, Special Task Force 2022 National and Local Election, he spearheaded the preparations for the security and safety coverage during the recently concluded 2022 NLE and supervised the coordination and necessary actions to be undertaken together with partner agencies, other government agencies, organizations, and stakeholders toward the achievement of a secure, accurate, free and fair 2022 NLE under the new normal. The medallia ng katapatan sa pagdilingkod is proudly awarded to Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., Officer in Charge, Philippine National Police. For his eminently meritorious and invaluable service rendered, as the Deputy Commander, Special Task Force 2022 National and Local Elections, the Medallia ng Pambihirong Pagdilingkod is proudly awarded to Police Major General Valeriano De Leon, the Director for Operations.
Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Brigadier General Alan Nobleza, Deputy Director for Operations. Brigadier General Limuel Ovon, Executive Officer for Operations. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Brigadier General Ronnie Francis Manuel Carriaga. Chief PNP Command Center. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Colonel Gideon D, Chief SOD Directorate for Operations. For the exceptionally meritorious and invaluable services rendered during the conduct of internal security operations or Oplan Dirty Dozen 2020 on August 4, 2020 in Sitio Balatkahoy, Barangay San Antonio, Calayaan, Laguna that resulted in an armed encounter with more or less 40 members of communist terrorist groups and the neutralization of three ranking CTG members, recovery of high caliber weapons, ordinances and other subversive documents. The Medalla ng Katapangan is awarded to Police Master Sergeant Marfe Adier. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Master Sergeant Evan Mark Quartero. Award is presented to Police Corporal Reniel Austria. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Corporal Abelardo Gayamos. Conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of life above and beyond the call of duty during the successful rescue on June 3, 2022. Hot pursuit operation was conducted on June 14, 2022 in the vicinity of Zigzag Road, Pilila Rizal, that resulted in an armed encounter and neutralization of two of the kidnappers. The Medallion ng Kadakilaan is proudly awarded to Police Major Ryan J. Capurcos. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Major Mario Formento. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Police Staff Sergeant Dexter Bass.
Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Patrolman John Isaac Samuel Corgado. Thank you very much. Similar award is presented to Patrolman King Albon. Thank you very much. And for having demonstrated exemplary efficiency and devotion to duty, as Secretariat, Researcher, and Drafter of the Technical Working Group on Awards, who conducted series of meetings and responsible for the crafting of the revised PNP Memorandum Circular Number 2022-043. The Medalla ng Katangitanging Gawa is awarded to NUP IV Evangelista. Congratulations to all the awardees. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Thank you very much, and please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce our guest of honor and speaker, the officer in charge, Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr. To our uh, guest of honor and speaker, whom I will introduce later, the Undersecretary for Peace and Order, Assistant Secretary Manuel B. Felix, sir. The members of uh, Team PNP from the command group, our uh, TDCA, Lieutenant General Rodel Sermonia, sir. Our uh, TCDS, Lieutenant General Manny Abu, sir. Our uh, APC, Northern Luzon, Lieutenant General Juna Sorin, sir. And of course, our IG, Attorney Triambolo. The members of the directorial staff, officers and men, to our awardees, NUPs, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Our guest of honor and speaker for today was born in San Mateo Rizal, Philippines on October 26, 1961. At an early stage, he has already manifested his exceptional academic prowess when he graduated elementary as valedictorian. Straight from high school, he entered the Philippine Military Academy and became a member of the PMA Matikas class of 1983, where he graduated as cum laude. During his active military career, he consistently ranked number one in all his military courses, either local or foreign. In 1993, Secretary, our secretary, finished on top of his class in the International Officer Intelligence course at Fort Huachuca, Arizona, USA, earning a perfect rating of 100%, a feat that remains unchallenged up to this day. Because of his virtuous reputation, exceptional professionalism, and unquestionable integrity, our secretary was entrusted to hold vital military positions which include being the commander of the intelligence and security group of the Philippine Army, the chief of the intelligence service armed forces of the Philippines, the commander of the 10th ID, the 57th commanding general of the Philippine Army, and eventually the 48th chief of staff armed forces of the Philippines. With an eagle-like focus in accomplishing his missions, our secretary was instrumental 
in the neutralization of countless terrorists and communist high-value targets, which ultimately made him a legend in the Philippine intelligence community. Being a devoted Catholic, our Secretary fervently advocated the value of servant leadership and always gave him premium to the importance of teamwork. Under his able leadership, the armed forces of the Philippines achieved its highest net satisfaction rating from the populace. This was demonstrated when he was designated as the martial law administrator in Mindanao during the five-month-long Marawi crisis where an influx of support to the armed forces of the, of the Philippines was witnessed and felt. In recognition of his outstanding service and work ethics, he has been a recipient of more than 70 awards, medals, and decorations, both locally and abroad. He twice received the coveted Philippine Military Academy Cavalier Award, first in 1996 as an outstanding PMA alumnus in the field of Army Operations, and second in 2021, as PMA alumnus in the field of public administration. He is also a recipient of the Philippine Legion of Honor, degree of Chief Commander, and the prestigious Panglima Gaga Angketan Tentera that was awarded by no less than His Majesty, the King of Malaysia in 2022. He was conferred with the Honoris Causa Doctor of Philosophy degree in national security and public administration, a title entrusted to him by the renowned National Academy of Security and Defense Planning. Following his honorable exit as the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, our retired Secretary rose to the challenge of sailing the seas of interior and local governance. He clad the uniform personnel and NGUs with the necessary strength and capabilities to lay sturdy foundations for peace and order, as well as safety and security in the communities. His willpower affected a no-nonsense internal cleansing drive that purged the PNP, BFP, and BGMP of misfits and scalawags. With relentless pursuit, he capacitated the LGUs to effectively deliver their services to the people, empowering them to make the helm of local peace and development drives and respond to crises, emergencies, and disasters such as the COVID-19 pandemic. In all of this, he staunchly advocated for participative, inclusive, accountable, and good governance among the government civil society organization, and the Filipino citizenry. Kuya Ed, Manong Ed, Ed, as friends call him, is happily married with the former Miss Jean Jocelyn Maria Arjoso, and they are blessed with four children, namely Edwin, Edward, Janelle Marie, and Jasmine Claire. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our guest of honor and speaker for today, the Secretary of the Interior and Local Government, Secretary Eduardo Manahan Anyo. Maraming salamat, Lieutenant General Dick Danao, our OIC Chief PNP. Please sit down. Troop Commander Colonel Levy Alarcio, please give the troops tikas pa Asek Mani Felix, our Assistant Secretary for Peace and Order, our very energetic and snappy officer in charge or OIC Chief PNP, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Edenau Jr., members of the command group, Police Lieutenant General Rodel Sarmonia, our DCA, 
Police Lieutenant General Manuel Abu, our Chief Director of Staff, Police Lieutenant General Rodolfo Asurin Jr., Commander APC Northern Luzon, Attorney Alpigar Triambulo, the Inspector General IAS, Directorial Staff, Regional Directors, and National Support Unit Directors, Commission, Non-Commission, and non uniform Personnel of the Philippine National Police, our awardees this morning, those who are joining us online, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to you all. I've been deeply touched by the kind words and well wishes I received in the waning days of my appointment as Secretary of the Department of the Interior and Local Government from various institutions, commendations, and Gestures of gratitude never run short in the past few weeks, but in all honesty, nothing compares to the unsurpassed respect, support, and trust you have endowed me in over or more than four years, with you never doubting my capability, my reputation, and track record to lead you in the race going forward. Today, it is my turn to say thank you. Thank you for courageously putting your lives on the line, day in and day out, to ensure that our peace and order campaigns are not only gaining sturdy grounds, but are also slowly winning the people's trust and confidence in our men in uniform. Much gratitude to you for not yielding to the back-breaking responsibilities, but instead continuing to embrace far-ranging roles including responding to health emergencies and extending helping hands during calamities, and for relentless rising to be a vanguard of safety and security despite the prevailing peace spoilers and amid the host of other social ills, we give you our sincerest appreciation, as well as thank you for keeping me driven, diligent, trustworthy, and strong-willed through it all. Because of your extraordinary courage and commitment, we have made gallant strides in our duty to serve and protect the people. In a space of six years, our boards show that we have maintained consistent downward trend in our crime situation. Reflected in such claim are the dwindling average monthly crime rate, the national index crime rate, and crime volume, a wide array of campaigns against illegal gambling, loose firearms, private armed groups, wanted persons, communist terrorist groups, local terrorist groups, kidnap or ransom, and illegal drugs have also turned the corner, significantly contributing to the improved crime prevention that we have unremittingly bannered in the Duterte administration. Yet these laudable achievements were not realized without the stories of struggle that the, that the Philippine National Police had to face one at a time and then overcome at the right time. Noon pa man, saksi tayong lahat sa kaliwat ka ng kritisismo sa mga plano at akbang ng buong kapulisan. At sino nga ba ang makakalimot sa hirap na dulot ng pandaigdigang pandemya na kumitil sa buhay at nagdulot ng mas malalang karamdaman sa daan-daan ating mga kasamahan. Higit sa, higit sa puyat, pagod, pawis at dugo, buhay rin ang buong tapang ninyong itinaya upang ang kapalit ng siguridad at kapanatagang kailangan natin gawin ngayon. Tunay ngang napakatindi ng sakripisyong kailangan natin gawin sa pagtupad sa ating mga tungkulin. Ako mismo, nakararanas din ng mga pagsubok na higit nagpatatag sa aking karakter bilang lingkod bayan. Gaya ng naging karanasan ng mga tropang, ibabahagi ko ang kwento sa puntong ito. Ngunit ang aking karanasan ay maliit lamang sa sakripisyo kumpara sa mga pinagdaanan ng iba-iba nating kasamahan sa serbisyo. Hayaan niyo kung ilahad ang mga katangin-tangin kwento ng kabayanihan 
at pagmamahal sa serbisyo ng ating mga kasamahan na nagbuwis ng buhay upang <coughs> may sakatuparan ang tungkulin unti, upang unti-unting mabago ang pananaw ng publiko sa pabansang kapulisan. Policing your master sergeant, Jason <coughs> Magno, was killed in a, great in a grenade explosion at the Inito Community College in Misamis Oriental in November 2019. During the scaffold to subdue the suspect, a grenade was thrown from the hands of the suspect and landed on the cemented ground, but Police Senior Master Sergeant Magno hurriedly fetched the grenade and paid the ultimate sacrifice by covering the grenade with his body to protect further damage and injury to the people in the area. Magno's bravery is a story like no other, as he showed his willingness to save many others, even if he knew that such an act would take his own life. In yet another display of Baylor, Police Senior Master Sergeant Conrado Cabigao Jr. from PRO4A paid the heavy price while acting as a posture buyer during a buy bus operation in June of the same year. During the transaction, Cabigao exercised restraint and practiced maximum tolerance because they wanted to capture the pusher alive. However, when the pusher sensed that he was transacting with Cabigao, a police officer, he immediately ran upstairs, pulled his firearms, and fired Cabigao, hitting his neck and hand, thus causing the police instantaneous death. Cabigao's tragic experience is indeed a classic example of how life threatening drug operations are but our policemen still brave the operations for our war on drugs. Then in February 2020, in an armed encounter against communist terrorist group in Hanuay, Iloilo, Police Captain Efren S. Espanto demonstrated exceptional sacrifice by offering his life to the country. He was shot dead in a long and intense fire fight while conducting the major combat and clearing operations. Espanto's account of heroism is a solid proof of how dedicated our personnel are, even if that means giving everything they can for the neutralization of the communist terrorists. Magno, Cabigao, and Espanto are just three among the 307 fallen troops who sacrificed their lives in the name of public service. 56 of them were killed in our anti-drug war operations, 160 in anti-criminality campaigns, while the other 91 succumbed in the counterinsurgency and counterterrorism drives. At sa pagtupad pa rin ng tukunin, 128 PNP personnel died of COVID-19 while manning our isolation facilities, checkpoints, mobile checkpoints, and even helping our kababayan afflicted with COVID-19. Pambihira ang kanilang inialay para sa bayan, kaya pwede ba palakpakan po natin sila. And may we also dedicate a moment of silence and say a little prayer for them. <coughs> Thank you. Indeed, these are inspiring stories and remarkable showing of boundless gallantry, outstanding service to the people, and hard and trust and confidence. Despite the watchful eye of the public, you continue to show how sincere, hardworking, and determined you are in your sworn duties and responsibilities. Hindi hindi kayo nagpapagapi sa kahit anong hamon na ipinupukol sa inyo. Bagkos ito ang nagtulak sa inyo na patuloy na humugot ng lakas at inspirasyon upang mapabuti ang ating paglilingkod sa ating mga kababayan. Thus, for being unfazed by the challenges that came your way, I sincerely commend you. From the PNP OIC Chief, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., 
and also all the former PNP chiefs I have had the privilege of working. Ronald Bato de la Rosa, Oscar Albayalde, Archie Gamboa, Camilo Cascolan, Devold Sinan, Guillermo Eliasar, and Gennardo Carlos. A snappy salute and rousing round of applause for a job superbly done. I owe all of you a deep debt of gratitude. You all have demonstrated the competence and character fitting and expected of a policeman. And above all, your tenacity has become your weapon as we combat the threats to peace and order and fight to better the PNP's good name. Such a showing of fortitude did not go unrecognized by the people we serve. The 2020 Global, Global Law and Order Survey by the American Analytics Firm Gallup, for instance, ranked the Philippines as one of the 12 nations across the globe where citizens said they feel safe and confident with the local police. Undoubtedly, this speed concretizes the consequential contribution that you have exhausted in the past several years. As we trumpet these accomplishments and accounts of rising above the difficulties, we also acknowledge that we still have a lot of tasks to do. Moving ahead in the race, the challenges to law enforcement will certainly continue to overlap, spin, and branch into a complex web of issues. Illegal drugs, criminality, insurgency, and terrorism continue to pose fear and threat to our fellow men. Thus, we need to keep law enforcement agencies more effective and vigilant than ever. And without question, modernization will be the name of the game in the next few years. In his farewell address, former U.S. President Barack Obama said, and I quote, our Constitution is remarkable, a beautiful gift, but it's really just a piece of parchment. It has no power on its own. We, the people, give it power, end of quote. As law enforcers, you are part of this power. But in doing so, I expect you to continue protecting and upholding the sanctity of the Philippine Constitution, including the rule of law while guarding the lives, property, and well-being of our people. Continue to have the citizenry on board with our peace-building pursuits and nation-building initiatives. Let communities, private entities, and civil societies feel involved in unshackling the country from the tight chains of lawlessness, violence, cruelty, and abuse. Keep in mind that no amount of money or any material in the world can and should measure up to your integrity as a police officer. Temptations will be plenty and will be difficult to resist. But remember that people's respect grows from the honesty that you demonstrate and maintain when no one is watching. Wag na wag niyong ipagpalit ang inyong integritad sa kahit na anumang bagay na sisira sa inyong reputasyon at siguradong babagabag sa inyong mga konsensya. Saan man kayo mapatpad, lagi niyong sikapin na maging mabuting halimbawa at inspirasyon hindi lamang sa mga kapwa pulis kundi sa lahat ng tao. Laging alalahanin ang tungkuling na kabalikat o kabalikat sa inyong mga uniforme at araw-araw ay bitbitin ang mga aral at kabuting asal na itinanim sa inyong puso at kaisipan. At higit sa lahat, doblihin natin ang pagsisikap upang ang presensya ng isang pulis ay magdudulot ng takot at pagkabahala sa mga kriminal at iba pang masasamang luod. Ngunit, nagbibigay rin ng kapanatagan ng loob at siguridad sa ating mga kababayan. Sa pagpapalit ng liderato, batid kong may mga paralidad na ang isusulong at kailangan upang itaguyod ang mga iyo po. Ngunit hiling ko na sana hindi yon ang magiging hudyat na iwanan ang mga nasimulan ng administrasyong ito. Bagkus, sana ay pagpatuloy ninyo ang anumang pinagsikapan natin abutin at patuloy na ipakitang karapat dapat silang mapalawak at mapalawig pa sa mga susunod na taon. Towards that, I'm confident that the current future leaders of PNP will go great lengths in sustaining what we have achieved thus far. 
maging bukas pa rin tayo sa mga programa at pagbabagong ilalatag ng pamunuan ni President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos at ang kanyang itinalagang kalihim, Benar Abalos. Hangat ko rin may pakita at may, pa pa may pagkaloob sa inyo sa kabila ng parehong respeto at suporta ang inialin ninyo sa aking pagkakaupo. In return, I'm very optimistic that the incoming administration will also channel their backing and commitment to continually steer our beloved Philippines into safer, more peaceful, and more progressive horizons. Thank you very much to all of you. I will also, book, I will also book, be keeping a watchful and guarded eye on your leadership and service in the years to come, but then as a private citizen. But even in an unofficial capacity, take comfort with assurance that I will be more than willing and ready to lead and guide you again to the right direction whenever and wherever you need to. Once again, it has been a great honor and privilege to lead you and work alongside with you all. I will forever be grateful for all the memories we have made and the friendship we have forged together. May God continue to bless, protect, and keep you our valiant vanguards of public order and safety. Long live the Philippine National Police and long live this great nation. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Thank you very much, sir. Talupan! Manatili po tayong nakatayo. At atin pong awitin ang PMP lingkod ng bayan. We would like to request Secretary Eduardo M. Año, Department of the Interior and Local Government, Chairperson National Police Commission, to proceed in front to acknowledge the troops during the pass and review, and will be assisted by OIC PNP Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, the pass in review.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The participating units in today's parade are Police Security and Protection Group, Logistics Support Service, PNP Anti-Kidnapping Group, PNP Forensic Group, Engineering Service, Information Technology Management Service, Training Service, Legal Service, Directorate for Controllership, Directorate for Operations, Directorate for Investigation and Detective Management, Maritime Group, Police Community Affairs and Development Group. Approaching, ladies and gentlemen, is a troop commander and staff led by Police Colonel Neri Alarcho, Lieutenant Colonel Lorenzo Bernas, Lieutenant Colonel Roy Augustus Kalulut, Police Lieutenant Colonel Victoria de la Peña Jr. and Lieutenant Colonel Nandu. Our PNP band, led by Police no. Master Sergeant no. Luistro. Alpha Company Commander and Staff, led by Police no. Major Abdullah, Police Major Ablang, and Police Captain Acosta. First Platoon Leader, Police no. Lieutenant Lagmai. No. Second platoon leader, Police Lieutenant Lapitan. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the callers. Thank you and please be seated. Bravo Company Commander and Staff, led by Police Major Bakiran, Police Major Jayoma, and Police Captain Madrinyan. First platoon leader, Police Lieutenant Villamor. Second platoon leader, Police Lieutenant Manzano. We would like to request our officers, senior officers, to please remain for a photo observation with SILG. We would like to request our...